Hi, this is Pastor Mark Renner of Hosanna Lutheran Church here in beautiful Columbia Station, Ohio. Today, I was thinking back and reflecting a little bit on my time at the seminary in St. Louis, Missouri at Concordia Seminary, St. Louis. And I was thinking about some of the homiletic courses that I had. I had um, one homiletics course with um, Dr. Ben Haupt, and then I had two homiletics courses with Dr. Dale Meyer. And these are preaching courses, homiletics. And um, all three of the courses were tremendous. And I was thinking about some of the things that I heard shared by Dr. Meyer, who also preached at my ordination. And Dr. Meyer would always say, it's a great time to be the church. And sometimes people would feel a little bit maybe puzzled by that statement. And they'd say, well, you know, the church in the United States is a little bit in decline. Um, it's now less than half of Americans attend uh, a Christian church or have some type of uh, membership at a Christian church. That's the first time that's ever happened in the history of our country. Um, certain churches are really struggling. Certain Christian institutions are really struggling, so on and so forth. But what Dr. Meyer would always say is it has to be a great time to be the church because Jesus is Lord of the church. So it has to be a great time to be the church. And I love that. It's such a positive, such a truthful message, and such a biblical message, and so in line with the history, with the paradosis of the Christian church, with the traditions of the church. So that's very, it's very biblical. Today, there are so many people in our society that are lonely, that move around a ton for work, that maybe have 3,000 friends on Facebook or something like that. But in all reality, and I love Facebook, don't get me wrong, I love Facebook, and it's a great tool to use and everything. But in all reality, so many of those people that they're friends with on Facebook maybe wouldn't even let them use their couch for a night in case of an emergency to crash on or to sleep on. So some of the people on Facebook are real friends, but some of them maybe aren't. And I think there are so many people out there that are profoundly lonely, that need a sense of belonging, that need a sense of family, that need to be welcomed in to a community. And as the church, we have a fantastic opportunity to do that as the church. We can welcome people in to our midst to our congregations that are sort of on the outside looking in, that are sort of on the margins of society. And that was very much what the early church did. I just took a conference a few weeks ago through Concordia St. Louis and Concordia, Minnesota, and it was called Belong, Believe, Behave, Models of the Early Church. So in the early church, you would belong first, you were welcomed in, and then eventually, hopefully you would believe, and then eventually your behavior would change, and would become more sanctified, and you would behave in a sense. So as the church, we should open up our doors, we should open up our hearts and minds to people who are on the outskirts of society, to people who are in more of a normative or typical realm as well, and are just normal everyday people and maybe don't have a ton of problems, but also a lot of people that have a lot of problems or people who are looked at as being different or other. And we should open up our hearts and minds and our doors to the um, people from all different types of backgrounds, ways of life, um, walks of life, philosophies, political affiliations, different um, eth ethnic backgrounds, um, every walk of life, every race. Today I'm wearing my Greek fisherman hat, and I have ancestors that are Greek, I have ancestors that are German, ancestors that are French, and um, I, some English and Irish way back and things like that, but um, predominantly German and Greek and French, and God loves people in Germany, God loves people in Greece, He loves people in France, England, Ireland, Asia, uh, more specifically, 
China, people all over Africa, um, great places like Egypt, great places like South Africa. God loves people in Kenya. Kenya has such a rich and beautiful history and set of traditions. God loves all people everywhere. God loves everyone. So today, share that love, share that mercy, share that grace. And what I said about so many people being lonely and needing a sense of belonging and needing a sense of grace and um, so many people who have um, friends and connections on Facebook and they can't maybe even find a couch to crash on. I think it was my brother John that once pointed that out to me. And um, that is so true. There are so many people that need genuine, authentic friends, and they have some through social media, but they need person-to-person -person contact. They need fellowship. They need love. They need grace. They need a sense of community, and they need to know Jesus's love each and every single day. So God bless you. I hope you're having a great week. Um, continue to be um, cautious um, and take the proper precautions during this time of COVID. We're still in the pandemic to some degree. God bless you. Talk to you soon. See you soon.